Wolves do what Blackburn did to them. It's Hunt! Hello everybody and welcome back to the old Gold and Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and thank you for joining me again for another Wolves update. Now today the players were back in training for the first time for pre-season. There was a lot of fitness work and I imagine that'll be going on for the rest of the week. Uh, lots of protractors testing how much people can bend their knees and stuff. And some stuff on computers as well. I saw Danny Bart sitting there doing a little computer game for, I imagine, sort of mental awareness. But I'm going to start off by talking about an interview that Jeff Shee has given this afternoon, talking about uh, various things, talking about the restructuring of the club and talking about some of the players who have come in and talking about as well possibly the players who are going to be leaving or hopefully not leaving. And I want you to start off with a quote. He was asked about Helder Costa, the player that nobody wants to leave, and he said, Helder is my boy. And he said how important Helder Costa is, not just for the Wolves, not just for the team, not just for the fans. He said, on a personal level, for his own career, if he wants to be seen as a success, as a success then he's going to have to keep hold of Helder Costa because he's the key part of it. And if he loses Costa, then the Wolves as a team will not be able to progress. So that's quite pleasing to hear. And... Hopefully he sticks by his word. We've seen Jeff Shee change his mind about various managers in the past, but hopefully, I mean, it'll take a fool to sell Helder Costa. I think it's going to take a massive bid. I think the comments today, in my mind, have pushed his value up a little bit more at 25 million plus now. He also went on to talk about the importance of a full stadium and creating an, an intense home atmosphere, which I think we lacked a little bit last season. He also talked about the, the squad and the team. Uh, and he talked about the coaching aspects of the squad. We've got now a settled, all right, it's different, lots of change, but they're ready. We've got another six weeks until the season starts. Lots of time to prepare. And hopefully they can get their ethos and their ideas into the team in that time. Players have left the club. Quite a few players have left the club, in fact, today. And not too surprising because I think over the last week or so, they've been noises to say that deals have been close to being done and we're just waiting for the players to come back off holidays or contracts to end for them to actually go through. So George Saville and uh, Jed Wallace have both gone to Millwall. Now apparently the Jed Wallace deal is going to enable us to bring in a number of players so there will be a fee for that and possibly you know a between one and two million fee perhaps. I'm not too sure it's an undisclosed fee as all the Wolves deals are so it might take a day or so before the actual amount comes through for that. But George Savile as well, lots of Wolves fans happy about this, uh, but I could see that deal coming to bite us at the backside of Boxing Day. I guarantee he will have it, either have the game of his life or he'll score a goal against us. Uh, the other player who's left today is Paul Gladden uh, on a loan deal, but there have been some reports that it's on a permanent deal, so possibly it's something like a loan to a permanent deal. But he's gone back to the team who we signed him from, which is Hercules. Sorry about the pronunciation there. He never really worked out for him, but Benny played any games for us and enjoyed Schiffnell Balti an awful lot. And I'm not sure what the fan cast are going to have to talk about now for through next season. And also a little bit of sad news, person. Well, not personally, but I th didn't think he quite had the season that we were hoping when we first signed him. Silvio will not have his contract renewed, and he'll be heading off. A shame, really, because I think you know if we've got this weakness in the left back position. He seems to be a good left back, but he's just not been able to get rid of these injuries that he's had for the last three or four years, which is a shame because he looked like a clever footballer. He's certainly skillful. The Portuguese link as well, as I talked about a few weeks ago. But hopefully, I imagine then Nuno has got somebody lined up in that position to come in and to, to do his job for him. Another bit of rumour today is that Wolves and Leeds United have been linked with the Werder Bremen goalkeeper Felix Wiedwald. Uh, he made 25 appearances last season and kept five clean sheets, so seems a decent uh, prospect. And it points again to the, you know, we scout in Germany quite a bit, the lower end of the Bundesliga and the, and the second Bundesliga, so perhaps we could see a few more signings coming from there as the summer goes along. And the last bit of news is that, of course, the players are back in training today. If you have had a look at the video, a nice little light blue sort of training top. Does that allude to the away kit that might be released soon? And also Miranda, Bennett and Afosu Aye were in training today. But I didn't spot, I could be wrong, but I didn't spot Nuno in that training video. Uh, 
Thank you very much for watching this update video on the Wolves. If you enjoyed it, then why not drop a like and subscribe to the channel for regular Wolves content. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.